Hey everyone, Rick here, and I know this is what a lot of you Calico Critters fans have been waiting for. This is the unboxing and overview of the Calico Critters Cloverleaf Manor. And I believe this is the largest single product that has been produced for Calico Critters or Sylvanian families, whichever neck of the woods you're in, it's called differently but this is a huge just absolutely beautiful little critter house these doll houses have always intrigued me and just the absolute detail that goes into not only the home itself but also the accessories that you get to put inside the house that is going to be just a ton of fun to be able to create each room as you would see fit. So, as it says right there on the box, it gives you a ton of different ideas for what you can do on every floor of the house. There are four playable floors. The ground floor the second floor, the third floor, and then also that terrace, balcony, roof area up top. So, this is still sealed. I have not opened it, but we are going to open it now and take a look and see how it comes. I'm interested to see how this is packaged. It does say that it is fully assembled in the box which should make set up a breeze but we'll soon find out so with the tape cut just a couple little flaps there and we have one box lid opened two box lids and a couple flaps on either side and already you can tell this is a nice looking piece so how should we do this let me pause it I'll be right back all right I am back I just went ahead and turned it upside down and dumped it out and so this is how it'll come right out of the box there's some cardboard packaging to protect the corners and keep it from sliding around. And that is just lightly taped to the plastic wrap that goes around the whole thing. And so, inside of this plastic bag material then, is the actual house. So we take off one plastic bag, looks like there's another, or at least some more plasticky material that's fairly simple to just pull right off there, and some more up top that is taped on. And so it is pretty well packed in there. And here we go. The important notice, adult removal required. So we have to dispose of this packaging material safely before you hand over the deed to the house. Because those plastic bags they can definitely get you. So it looks like there's just one more plastic wrap going around the house. And clearing all the excess packaging away. Thank you. 
leaves us with the house itself. And so you can see the front here has a couple of pretty nice plastic glass doors that I suppose are imitating like an etched glass look. And it's double doors up top, double doors on the front, as you would expect from a house of this caliber. Now already I see that one of my hinges is taken off. Let's see how simple it is to pop that back into place. Alright, so when we come around to the back of the manor, you can see how it'll then fold out to give you access to the interior. It doesn't look like it snaps closed, so there's nothing keeping it from having each of the wings slide out. That's okay. So after that packaging material is removed, we then have the instruction sheet. One-sided, and it's fairly basic. It just gives you a little overview of some of the accessories that are included. Now, from that box display of all the different rooms and furniture, that is not all in here. You do have to pick that up yourself. What is included, though, are some, as we'll soon see, hedges and flower boxes and bushes and uh, kind of decorative fencing to go around the top. And I would assume all of that is in this nice little box right here. So with those things out of the way, we can get a good look at the interior of the manor. And right up top there, that is a nice feature with a plastic uh, resembling a glass window. We also have some advertising for some of Calico Critter's other sets. And all the windows. And I just love that. All of the windows actually give the impression that they can be opened. Not the top ones, those are stale. But these bottom ones can all be lifted, raised and lowered. Not the side ones, just the front. Of course you have the front doors, and those balcony doors, and spaces for what I assume are the illuminated parts. Uh, that chandelier, what looked like a toadstool on the instructions, I believe is actually a chandelier. So if we take a look at the accessories that are in here, we can see that they're Wow, see this piece is a lot more substantial than I thought. So this is that column piece there. And it is a pretty big piece. So that'll go onto the front of the house, kind of as a grand entryway. Nothing in that bubble wrap. But in this packet, we have some of that plastic fencing. I'm sure there is a more appropriate name for what that is. But this kind of stuff will basically just snap right onto the roof. Probably a different way. Maybe like that. No. Must have. Okay, like that basically. So that'll go all the way around. And I also assume, on top of here as well, because that is the, kind of the clever thing, is when this is perched out front, which we might as well do, first I want to look at the flooring. Each level has its own style of flooring. This second floor here has the 
kind of long slats of what looks like wood. The second floor has more of a kind of a tile grid pattern and the bottom just has the basic vertically aligned wood pieces or tile or whatever you want to imagine it as. So again, there's another view of, oh, and look, it actually does. I am proven wrong. That right there is a locking mechanism to keep it shut. Very cool. And that's something I would not have noticed. And it does keep it shut really nicely. But anyway, So then when you do wheel it back around front, you can get your nice column entryway piece fit right in there. And so you have a nice entryway down below, but it also acts as uh, the balcony for the second floor. And it has its own piece there. And that'll probably stick in a lot better if it was on a hard surface. But basically, that is how it'll be. So then no, nobody falls off the balcony. And then we have one more little pack of accessories here. Let's find out what's in this package. Well, aren't those adorable? Just a bunch of basically flower boxes that you can stick on outside the windows, whichever windows you want. Here is the chandelier, and so that will stick up into any of those circular holes on the ceiling. So that's very nice and regal looking and well it has one of those tabs which means there's probably a battery in there let's see if the battery is any good Ooh, and we have light so let's go ahead and pop that in there just to take a look at how that will look once it's actually inside the house so you have it opened up like that there is a lot of room in here really to do whatever you want. And like I mentioned, even up there are places that you could, for example, stick that chandelier. Anywhere that there is one of those circles. Of course, it'd be nice if you could get a pack of these. You can even put one up there too. So anywhere and you can have them all along there. I wonder if they sell a pack of those. It would be nice to have more than just one. And then lastly, we have these little bushes, which are just adorable. And these, I don't think, have any specific place to go, at least on the box. The box has them up here, surrounded by the fencing. It also has them on either side of the balcony. You can put them down in the entryway and give it a nice look. So, however you want to do it, it is up to you, but that is just great that they included those. And so, with that being said, all of these accessory pieces and the manor itself comes together to create quite the overall wonderful package. And I can't wait to start opening up some of my accessory packs and really giving this manor a nice lived-in look. And so when you look at it, even all closed up like this with all these windows, which again, a lot of them can be raised and lowered, 
closed up, it just looks like a wonderful place to live. And when you open it up, you can really get a good sense of just how much space is in there to do really whatever you want with. So that, my friends, is the Cloverleaf Manor from Calico Critters. I hope that was interesting. And if you have the opportunity, I highly recommend picking one of these up and decorating the inside as you see fit for your Calico Critter or Sylvanian family families. So thank you as always for watching and until next time.